complete the Clan Crusader. Bold, dramatic, and built for a brand new decade, a brand new town, Washington. The dream of ex-Lotus engineer Paul Osaware. I felt that we could do a very competitive small car, one that would complement the existing range of um, vehicle, specialist vehicles on the market. So it would take it down a slot to a Sprite Spitfire competitor, which would be an entry-level specialist vehicle for, for the youngsters. This was the factory, tailor-made, designed with an eye to architectural awards. Hmm, maybe not that glamorous. And today, looking at the back of the Crowther Industrial Estate in Washington, almost completely forgotten. Like Lotus, the clan used a clever combination of existing parts, in this case, Hillman Imp, but packaged in a distinctive and immensely strong glass fibre body by a small team. People like Chris, now with Nissan, he painted them. In the paint shop, there was only about eight of us. Very small paint shop. Uh, the production lines, there was a lot more people there, but I didn't have much to do with those. It was a really good looking small car, small sports car, pretty cutting edge for its time. I would love to have owned one myself, but unfortunately couldn't afford it. And those days were heady times. We were quite frequently on television because obviously we were quite visual. And I always used to enjoy going to um, one of the cabaret clubs in Newcastle and the manager would always come up to me um, and say, I saw you on television, Paul, absolutely fantastic. Uh, come this way. And whoever was on the director's table, other than the directors, were thrown out. And we were given the prime table and he'd have half a lager. And, you know, I was sitting in, uh, in luxury. <laughs> The car lasted barely three years, killed off by VAT, the fuel crisis and the miners' strike. About 350 were built, no one's too sure exactly, but surprisingly around two-thirds survived. A remarkably high figure when you consider they were sports cars, meant to be thrashed. What's the big attraction? A fun car, really. Um, very 70s, uh, something that was, well, personally, I sought after in the 70s. Uh, but was unable to acquire one um, and then reliving my misspent youth uh, about two or three years ago I managed to find this one. <laughs> Fantastic design. Um, I first saw it when it was a rally car which was my thing in those days. Uh, very robust construction, looked a bit like a Lotus um, but was a lot cheaper than a Lotus. <laughs> 30 years on, it still turns heads. It is tiny. Hatchbacks tower over it. And you can't help but think, how many of the first bluebirds built at the Nissan plant will still be around after their 30th birthdays? Mm -hmm.